Hi, I'm Pat, one of the technicians here with Micro Center, and today we're continuing our video series on the WinBook DVR security system. We are going to show you today how to set up IP filtering on the DVR system itself. And this will help you to disallow uh, certain devices on your network from either connecting with the DVR system or only giving them li limited access when connecting to the system. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got the uh, DVR's IP address typed in here in the Internet Explorer address bar. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, I've got username admin. I've left the password at its default, which is blank. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on log in. Click OK here. Brings up the cameras. I'm going to click on device config. And then I'm gonna click on the settings button here. And then click on net service. <laughs> IP filter is going to be at the top here of the list, so I'm going to double click on that. And then uh, to enable uh, blacklisting, IP filtering, I'm going to click on enable. And uh, so we've got choice of blacklist or whitelist under restriction type. Um, blacklist is going to completely um, not allow uh, whatever uh, whatever device IP address uh, we, we type in here to, uh, to connect with the DVR at all. Um, Whitelist uh, will allow them to connect, but we'll, they'll have like certain limited uh, limited capabilities and, and rights. So suppose I want to add a, a device to the blacklist. If I know its IP address, I'm gonna go ahead and type it in here. Uh, for example, 192.168.0.21, perhaps. And click on Add. Now we've got band IP here. And suppose if I uh, if I wanted to in the future to go ahead and remove that, um, just go back into the IP filter here, um, click the checkbox next to uh, what, whichever device's IP address you want to remove from this list, and then click on delete, and then click OK, click OK, and OK again, and uh, that's how we uh, set up IP filtering here with the uh, WinBook DVR systems. For more questions, please come visit us at www.microcentertech.com.